Good day and welcome back to uh, AD Manager Plus online training session. In the previous section, we have discussed about AD Manage tab. And in this session, we will be discussing about AD reports. So let's just go ahead and provide you with a quick introduction on AD reports, uh, where you can generate over 100 different reports on various infrastructure resources of your Active Directory. And uh, let me just explain all these reports are predefined canned reports away from scripting. So it's very simple. You just have to click on the report based on your re uh, requirement and can generate the report. And on the left hand side, you will find that there are different report types, right? From user reports, password reports, group reports to other reports. So all these uh, are report types. And in turn, when you click on this report type, you will find that there are a list of reports associated with this report type. So when you just click on computer reports, you will find that reports uh, reports like all computer, OS-based computers, uh, inactive computers, disabled computers are all associated with the computer report type. And I will be providing you demo on um, user reports. So let's just go ahead and provide you with the training on user reports. But before that, uh, let me just provide you with an update like uh, uh, you can you can generate this report and once the report is fully generated you can perform different management tasks so let's just go ahead and click on all user reports and first uh, generate the report and in the meantime uh, i will just update you like uh, once the report is fully generated uh, you can perform different management tasks like you can you can either uh, delete the user account or you can enable or disable the user account based on a requirement or uh, you can also perform uh, other management tasks like you can move the user account from one OU to another OU uh, you can just change their naming attribute you can just change their contact attribute or address attribute as you did in AD Manage tab so uh, so this is like an extension where you can uh, generate the report as well as you can perform few of the management tasks and once the report is fully generated uh, you can just export this report into any of the format like html pdf xls csv or csv de format and uh, few of the key features that comes with any report is like you can generate reports for multiple domains so right now as you can see i have generated a report for only one ou called child and you can also generate uh, you can also um, generate report for specific OUs. Okay, so this can be done by clicking on add OUs link. And once you click on add OUs link, a pop up window will appear where you can select a uh, single or multiple OUs and you can generate the report. And now you can see as the report is fully finished, uh, you can also customize this column. As you can see, these are the these are the columns which you can customize based on your requirement. This can be done by clicking on add and remove columns. And if you don't want an email address to be part of the resultant window, you can very well uh, remove it and you can just add uh, the logon time. Click on OK and now you can see the logon time has been added in the resultant window. And you can also sort the uh, columns by clicking on the header. You just click on the employee ID header and you can just sort them. And at any point, if you want to uh, perform any of the management tasks, you can just uh, uh, click on single all multiple users. So I'm just going to select uh, multiple user and I can just uh, perform any of the management tasks like I can, if I just click on delete and now you can see uh, under the message column it will just provide me with an update whether uh, this particular user has been uh, deleted or not. So right now it has not been deleted and it, it just uh, provided with an error message like uh, access denied. So I'm not having permission to delete those users right now and um, so you can also perform different management tasks however at any point if you want to add uh, or perform uh, uh, want to update a particular user object then you can just click on the user object a uh, pop-up window will appear uh, and it will just uh, be similar to that of uh, uh, you have seen uh, while creating the user account it will have like different tabs where you can just uh, update a user property And click on update user so once this is done you will just receive an error uh, receive a message like uh, user successfully updated okay 
and uh, you can just close so these are the different tasks that you can perform once the uh, report is fully generated and as i have told earlier you can just export this report into any of the format like csv pdf xls html or csv de format and you can also may take print by by just clicking on print table view and it will just provide you uh, with a view how it looks like when you just click on print you can see you can just uh, uh, click on print and you can print the report and then then, then and then uh, this is with like different uh, things you can just perform with the ad manager plus report let's go back to any reports and uh, uh, you can also generate reports for recently created modified deleted users you can generate report for inactive users disabled users so based on your requirement you can generate any other report you just have to click on the report and generate the report so and another important thing that comes with the ad manager plus report is like scheduling of report feature uh, for that just click on schedule reports and first you need to uh, click on schedule new reports to schedule a report uh, provide with a scheduler name uh, I'm just going to provide the schedule name as test one and provide with a description which is which is mandatory uh, or user so you can select the domain and you can also select uh, or generate report based on uh, OUs by just clicking on add OUs a link a pop-up window will appear where you can um, uh, select the different OUs based on your requirement and then you need to select the report type so once you click on the report type you can just select the available reports and you can just check mark those reports so under user reports i'm going to select all user reports and i'm going to click on computer report and in turn i'm going to select all computer reports so these are the two reports i'm going to uh, select and next thing is like schedule duration so when i need uh, this scheduler to run so based on my requirement i can just select daily weekly monthly or hourly so i just want to run this report on every 21st of month okay and at eight hours that is eight hours in the evening uh, and then i can mm, select the scheduled report format uh, just i can just select any other report format right from pdf xls csv or csv de or i can also save this generated report by clicking on the storage path the last thing i need to do is like the email address i need to specify the email address i can either select a single email address or i can select multiple email address so um, i need to, uh, for selecting multiple email address you need to separate this email address by comma and and click on save or you also have an option where you can just send a test email so once you click on uh, test email uh, you can just send a test email and it will be uh, confirmed whether you have configured it perfectly or not and once you click on save your scheduler has saved successfully you would have received this error receiving this message your scheduler has saved now click on view scheduler task to view your task which you have saved you have saved test one and you can also perform some of the management tasks under scheduler reports where you can just enable or disable scheduler by just clicking on the first icon so you know just to make it disable it's very simple just click on the icon and you can see it is changed into red so that means the scheduler is disabled at any point if you no longer require the scheduler you can just click on delete icon delete the scheduler or you can just click on uh, edit icon to edit the scheduler so at any point if you just want to add more reports to the existing scheduler you can just click on edit and you can just add it so this is like scheduling report and uh, and you also need to configure mail server settings okay so by default you, uh, it's very simple you just have to provide the mail server name and the port number 25 which will be by default and you can also provide with the from address from where which from which address you want the email to be sent so this is very simple this is about like uh, scheduling of reports that comes under ad management tab uh, i believe so with this we have come to an end to the session uh, I believe this session would be informative to you and at any point if you require any technical assistance can you click on our support tab and send uh, or open a ticket by sending a support request or contact our dolphin number uh, thank you for your time and have a nice day bye bye